I'm going to go down to the description where I can actually write something. I can see what Bubba wrote earlier, issue with a printer and, or cannot print. Actually, that came from the template. And I can say, well, let's search the knowledge base. Let's see if we have in the, anything in the knowledge base for printers. I'm going to have to tell it which knowledge base I want. Uh, and I want to search for um, printer and see if we get any hits. Oh, we have a couple no, uh, knowledge base articles on printers. So I can say, well, let's, uh, I can't read that all the way. Actually, maybe I know that Bubba's printer is an 8610. So I say, well, maybe that's the one I want. And so if I select it and I say copy resolution, it's now print, copy that resolution from the knowledge base directly into the description here. So I've got this, and maybe I, I go through these and I said, okay, well, that's exactly uh, what we need to do. Maybe that fixed the problem. I can come in here. I can mark this resolved. And when I do that, I could also set things that I have to do. I haven't done that, made it mandatory, but I could say, well, there's certain things I have to do. I have to come in and put in a closure code that the agent resolved it and maybe uh, pick a, a date that is resolved it and say today. And we can say maybe at 2 o'clock or it's about 2.30. There we go. All right, so I, I've done the things I need to do. I can go ahead. By the way, there's a number of other things here. And this allows me to, uh, before I close this, to say uh, Footprints has a great feature, and it can link anything to anything. So you can link tickets to other tickets. You can link tickets to global tickets. You can link master tickets to subpass tickets. I, that's why I have so many tabs. So I can, I can even say I want to create a problem record or a, a request a uh, uh, a change, or RFC is ITIL for request for change. So I could click these, and these would actually create a new record and link them to for me. And if I did that, I could come over here to uh, related records, and I could see the problems that are linked, the change requests that are linked, the service requests that are linked, any other things that are linked. So you can link any ticket to any ticket. So linking is a huge uh, value add for, for footprints. The other thing I want to show you before I actually save this is I want to go to time spent. You notice up here in the right-hand corner I've got a timer. I've already been in this ticket for almost six minutes uh, editing it. Generally, I would have been just in a few clicks and gotten out, but it's keeping track of how much time I'm working on this. I could also add additional time. So I could say, well, uh, I've also – and I could change the date. Maybe I worked on this yesterday or, or uh, this morning. So I can change the time I started, and I can say – I. I also worked an additional uh, 15 minutes on this, and it will add the, that time to the 6 minutes and 20 minute, twenty seconds when I save this, and it will keep track of the time. You can even assign billing rates to, uh, uh, to those times, and then it would show you the, the cost for working on this ticket. So now you can keep track of, of uh, how much time your IT or, or whoever your agents are uh, how much time they've actually spent working on things. All right, so let me go ahead and save this. I'll do a save and close so it'll get rid of the tab for me. And it did. So um, we should uh, – that was the printer issue. You see it's marked resolved. Uh, I've got these set after three days. They'll automatically go to closed. And the email would have been sent to the customer. The next thing I'll do, uh, and I'll try to move a little faster here, is uh, let me go ahead and go down to the new tablet that he's wanting. And so uh, let me open that up. And he says he wants a, uh, a new tablet and a hardware request of tablet. And he wants an Android, a 10-inch Android. Well, you know, there's a couple ways I could do this. But I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to my CMDB. It's going to bring up a CMDB uh, console. These are actually consoles. And in that CMDB console, I'm going to say, uh, you know what, I did the wrong one. <laughs> I was going to do a, he ordered a smartphone. So look, maybe I call him up. He said, no, what I really want is a smartphone. Well, I have three smartphones in stock. I don't have any, any Android tablets. Uh, my mistake there. You know what, I'm going to, I'm going to fix this for him. I'm going to go in and edit this and say, after talking to him, he doesn't want a tablet. He wants a smartphone. 
That's what I've got. Uh, mobile phone. There we go. And uh, and you don't want to see me type, but uh, it can still be an Android. Although he's not getting a 10 inch smartphone. All right, so we've taken care of that, make this uh, seamlessly work together. So I can look and say, okay, here, here's the smartphones. Um, so we can come back over here and say, well, let's, um, let's see if I can link one of those. So I can say uh, link to. And there's my smartphones, and so uh, you know what? We'll just take uh, the first one on the list, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll say uh, click there and link that. And now that's that smartphone has been linked to this request. And now when I go finally go in and, and uh, close this request, we'll always know which request uh, was the one and which phone I uh, assigned to it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm not going to. Close this here. I'm just going to uh, uh, force me to put it in a description. We've made description mandatory. Uh, I'll just say found a uh, phone in stock. Uh, working to deploy, and we'll save and close that for now. All right, while, while I'm sitting here working on these things, uh, I get a phone call, and the phone call is from somebody that says uh, they can't log in, uh, they need their password reset, so they can't go through self-service. So what I can do is, uh, as an agent, I'm going to submit a new incident for them. And uh, this happened to be uh, Sally Smith. So I'll put in Sally, we'll just, we'll just link her, and it's pulled her information from the address book. There she is. And um, I simply want to um, reset her password. So I've got a template. Instead of having to fill out a bunch of other stuff, I can come up here and I can say, use the uh, network password reset template that I've got. And if I go down to the details section, it's filled in this information for me. It's a network. Uh, domain subcategory, which is the category we've chosen for it. Uh, domain name, password needs to be reset. It's in the short description, password reset. It's, so I've got every, all, the informa whoops, all the information I need. I've got Sally linked to this. Uh, I think I accidentally cleared the fields up here. Let me fix that. There, got her back in the fields. A minute ago, I accidentally came and hit clear, clear contact fields, and that wiped them out. Okay, so I've done, I've, um, maybe I've taken care of this as well. So if I want to, I can go ahead and say it's resolved. I can go to my resolve section, uh, uh, just put in that it, I did it today, and I can do a, a time again. And agent resolved. Okay. So that's real quick all I needed to do there. I'll do a save and close on that. So I, what you've seen is, I can't show you all the features and footprints right now. What you've seen is some of the basics. Uh, you know, I have incidents and service requests. I have uh, problems. Uh, there's surveys. There's uh, features. There's a calendar feature we, we won't even be able to talk about. But um, there's a lot of different features here, and a lot of these are, are built in. Keep in mind that this is great for IT, and I showed you a very IT-centric uh, demo. However, you can build pretty much any kind of ticketing system or request system. Everything's browser-based. There's roles, so you can limit who can get to what. And you can have different departments with their own independent applications, and agents in that department can get to their application 
and they can't get to your application in IT or vice versa. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show is, uh, let me refresh the screen here, is there's something called service analytics. This is the reporting. You saw a report that was on my home page a minute ago. Um, this home page is loading the chart. I could put as many uh, charts on here as I wanted want, or need to. Uh, that one's still loading. But if I wanted to, I could um, come into reporting. And these are, uh, except for the custom reports, these are kind of out of the box reports. You have to actually uh, configure it the first time. So for ticket management, I've created two activity reports and one average age report. There's a number of other out-of-the-box reports I haven't actually set up yet, but these are all uh, pretty much ready to go reports. Let me go ahead and open up one of the uh, activities reports, and here's one that I did earlier, incident activity, and all the uh, WebEx and everything going on. Hopefully this will show up. It shows me all the stuff that was set up for this report. And then uh, down at the bottom, I could have a table of metrics. Or in this case, I set up a side-by-side -side bar chart. So I can see uh, I had during the, uh, I think I set this for the last 90 days, yeah, last 90 days. And uh, of course, this is a demo system, but I've created uh, 14 new tickets. And uh, eight of them have been activated. By activated means it's moved into uh, at least the open status. You get to define what activated means to you. And, and, and again, you can create your own custom reports. Uh, I could even come up here and change the parameters of this report and then save this report if I wanted to. I could say save it, and it would now uh, show me um, the next time it would be different. In addition to saving, uh, changing the reports on the fly and then maybe keeping those changes, I can actually come here to Actions and, uh, of course, export uh, the data. Uh, I can uh, print the report, and I can even schedule the report to run uh, maybe once a month or once a week. So, again, all this is uh, built into the footprint.